Hi, I'm Master Scientist Grant Hank, and welcome to the Urban Science Report. In this report, we're going to break down the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic, talk about some key terminology, and discuss symptoms and prevention. So the first thing I want to talk about is terminology, because it's key to get a handle on these words we keep seeing on our screens, and we don't know what they mean. So let's dig right in. What's the difference between a bacteria and a virus? Both bacteria and viruses are so small that they can only be seen through a microscope. And both of them can cause infection, but that's where the similarities end. When we look at bacteria, bacteria are one-celled organisms that can be found naturally throughout our bodies and in our environment. Most are harmless and do not cause infection. Bacteria in our bodies help us digest food, protect us against other bacteria or microbes, and provide nutrients for our body. Less than 1% of bacteria actually make us sick. Infections caused by bacteria include strep throat, tuberculosis, and urinary tract infections, or UTI. Viruses, on the other hand, cannot live without the host or another living creature to help them multiply. Viruses are smaller than bacteria, and they attach themselves to another living cell and use that cell's genetic material to reproduce themselves. Most viruses cause disease. Examples of diseases caused by viruses include the common cold, herpes, shingles, measles, chickenpox, and AIDS. Antibiotics are available to treat most bacterial infections. However, they will not work on viral infections. The thing is, is that viral infections require vaccination to prevent them or antiviral drugs to prevent the development in the first place. Now that we have a handle on what bacteria and viruses are, this leads us to our main topic of discussion, which is the coronavirus COVID-19. What is coronavirus COVID-19 and how did it get its name? COVID-19 is the name given by the World Health Organization on February 11, 2020 for the disease caused by the novel coronavirus SARS-CoV-2. Coronavirus disease of 2019, in other words, COVID-19, is a respiratory illness that can spread from person to person. It started in Wuhan, China in late 2019, and since then has spread worldwide and has become what is called a pandemic. The naming of the coronavirus disease COVID-19 and the virus that causes it. The official names are, as far as disease is concerned, it's the coronavirus disease, which is COVID-19. The virus that causes the disease is called Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, Coronavirus 2, which the acronym is SARS-CoV-2. So how did COVID-19 get its name? How did it come together? If you look at the coronavirus disease of 2019, what they did was they took the CO off of corona, took the VI for virus, and the D for disease, and the 19 is the year in which this disease was discovered. So now you know when you see that acronym, what it means. So what's the difference between an epidemic, a pandemic, and an endemic? An epidemic is an outbreak of disease that attacks many people around the same time and may spread through several communities. A pandemic, on the other hand, is when an epidemic spreads throughout the world. An endemic is a disease that exists permanently in a particular region or population. One of the main systems that the coronavirus COVID-19 attacks is the respiratory system. So let's spend a moment talking about the respiratory system. What is a respiratory system and what does it do? The respiratory system is divided into two tracts, the upper respiratory tract and the lower respiratory tract. And the interesting thing is that if you work from the neck up, this is your upper respiratory tract. 
anything below the neck down would be considered your lower respiratory tract. In these tracts, there's different things taking place that are affected by the coronavirus COVID-19. So if we look at the upper respiratory tract, that consists of nostrils, navel cavities, pharynx, epiglutis, and larynx. The lower respiratory tract consists of the trachea, the bronchi, the bronchioles, and the lungs. So let's take a moment to review what we've covered so far in the Urban Science Report. We've talked about the difference between a virus and a bacteria. We've also talked about what is an epidemic, an endemic, and a pandemic. And we've discussed the respiratory system. In this next piece, I wanna really hone in on how do we differentiate between the flu, a cold, allergies, and COVID-19. The primary differentiator is, do you have a fever? And if the answer is yes, we're gonna ask a second question, are you experiencing a shortness of breath? If no, then we're gonna ask you, do you have itchy eyes? As you see, as we try to determine based on your symptoms, what you might have. So if you have a fever coupled with a shortness of breath, you may have the COVID-19. If not, then you may just simply have the flu. The next question is to differentiate between the cold and allergies is, do you have itchy eyes? If the answer is yes, you may have allergies. If not, you may just have the common cold. So as you can see, if we look at these symptoms, a lot of the symptoms are the same. If you look at the COVID-19 symptoms versus the flu symptoms, the cough, fatigue, weakness, and even body ache are all pretty much the same. And if you look over to the other side where we're looking at the allergies and the common cold, we see that you have runny nose, stuffy nose, sneezing, scratchy throat, and mild chest discomfort. So these are the things that you're going to track to determine which of these you have. In essence, you need what's called the diagnosis confirmation. So based on all of these symptoms, it's hard to determine it, and you need a professional to do that, and that's why only a doctor can give you this type of diagnosis. So now let's discuss prevention and protection. There are two sides of the coin when it comes to prevention and protection. Protecting yourself is one side of the coin, and protecting others is the other side of the coin. So the first step to prevention is to know how it spreads. There's currently no vaccine to prevent coronavirus COVID-19. The best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed to the virus. The virus is thought to spread mainly from person to person, between people who are in close contact with one another within six feet, through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. These droplets can land in the mouths or noses of people who are nearby or possibly be inhaled into the lungs. Here are some additional steps to help you protect yourself. Clean your hands often. Wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap or water is not available, use a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Avoid touching eyes, nose and mouth with unwashed hands and put distance between yourself and other people if COVID-19 is spreading in your community. This is especially important for people who are at a higher risk of getting sick. Take steps to protect others. Stay at home if you're sick except to get medical care. Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze or use the inside of your elbow. Throw the used tissue in the trash immediately and wash your hands. So let's talk about face masks. If you're sick, you should wear a face mask if you're around other people or before you enter a health care provider's office. If you're not sick, then you don't need to wear a face mask unless you're taking care of someone who is sick. In that case, if that person cannot wear a mask, then you should wear a mask. Clean and disinfect. Clean and disinfect frequently touch surfaces daily. These include doorknobs, light switches, countertops, handles, desks, phones, keyboards, 
toilets, faucets, and sinks. If these surfaces are dirty, clean them first and then disinfect them. So let's recap what we've learned in this urban science report. We've learned the difference between bacteria and viruses. We've learned what coronavirus COVID-19 is and how it got its name. We've also learned the difference between an epidemic, a pandemic, and an endemic. We've learned about the respiratory system and its function. We've also learned how to differentiate between flu, allergies, common cold, and COVID-19. And we've also learned how to take steps for prevention and protection against this COVID-19 pandemic. In closing, knowing the difference in symptoms can help prepare you for treatment. The key is, if you feel you have symptoms, if you feel you're coming down with what is called the coronavirus COVID-19, the first step you should take is to pick up the phone and call your primary health care provider. Call a doctor. Do not go into the doctor's office. Do not go into the emergency room. And the reason is, is because you run the risk of infecting the people not only around you, but also the people who are in charge with giving and providing care for sick people. So in leaving it in closing, I'll leave you with this. Knowledge is power. So let's use it to help prevent the spread of the coronavirus COVID-19. If this urban science report was helpful to you and your family, like us, send us your comments, share this, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow the Master Scientists on these social media platforms. Until then, stay safe.